Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys, for the wait. Um, gracias ahí por, um, por esperar. Uh, uh, había un, una, un problema ahí técnico anteriormente, entonces estamos um, un poquito um, atrasados ahí con eso, pero ya se pudo solventar. Okay, um, all right, guys, so how are you? Everybody's okay? Everybody's good? Last day of the class of this week. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Finish. You're finished. Hey, excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Uh, and the rest of you? Me falta el examen. El examen. Okay. Okay. Perfecto. Um, okay. Do we have questions? Do we have questions? No, no questions. Pues But... yo, pues mm -hmm. yo, este, la verdad que como les, les, les he explicado al principio que yo empecé esta plataforma del primer módulo, pero, o sea, no es como para que sepa, me cuesta mucho, me confunden muchos verbos más hoy en, en pasado y, pre, y presente, creo. Me ha costado ahorita apenas, voy terminando la sección 4, ya mañana primero día empieza a las 5, porque ya solo mañana creo que tenemos. Um, el, o sea, tienen hasta, hasta el lunes para hacerlo. Sí, pero sí, este, a mí me cuesta mucho, eh, bien poco lo que yo capto, no sé, como acuérdense que no todos tenemos la capacidad, me imagino, para aprender como muchos, porque veo que muchos ya hablan bastante inglés. Pero a mí sí me cuesta mucho. Todos tenemos la capacidad, Blanca. Todos, incluyendo usted, tenemos la capacidad. Simplemente uh -huh. que, eh, que, claro, um, por diferentes razones, tal vez algunos han estado expuestos al idioma un poco más, ¿verdad? De diferentes formas. Entonces, puede ser que lo, algunos lo captemos más rápido que otros. Pero que tenemos la capacidad, tenemos la capacidad. O sea, uh -huh. no hay problema. Usted fácilmente lo, poder, lo, lo podrá hacer. Eh, uh -huh. Ahora, mi pregunta es, ¿tiene alguna inquietud, alguna duda de la plataforma? ¿Algo en puntual que, con, con lo que yo le pueda ayudar? Eh, no, lo que pasa es de que este, en realidad a mí no se me... Por, por lo menos en la plataforma, perdón, en la sección 4, eh, en las preguntas... Eh, hay verbos que no están, pero, pero este, me cuesta, me cuesta irlos, irlos poniendo, este, porque yo había notado los que dan ahí, que es do, did, get up, es get, get, no sé cómo es que se pronuncia, get to, get to, or get up. Entonces, todos estos sí yo los he ido poniendo, pero hay unos que no, los, no son eso, los verbos, entonces es de, eh, de quizás averiguar un poco más o no sé, quizás en la clase en la plataforma no, no sé si ahí específicamente, yo repito y repito y repito, pero, pero no, le, no le logro entender mucho. Ok, usted está hablando de la sección 4, me dice sí. ¿verdad? Ok, muy bien eh, en la sección 4 exactamente en qué ejercicio es que está teniendo problemas Ay, no lo tengo así en la mano. Ah, vale, para que yo le pueda ayudar, porque, o sea, eh, para yo poder ayudarle necesito saber exactamente qué ejercicio es para que yo pueda guiarle exactamente um, cuál es la respuesta. Si gusta, este, no sé si pudiera más este, el día de mañana, no sé si comunicar más así o tendría que ser ahorita. O sea, lo ideal es que lo podemos hacer, responder cualquier duda en clase. 
Eso es la ideal, ¿verdad? Porque así la tengo acá, usted me hace preguntas directo, podemos verlo y va a ayudar también a los demás, ¿verdad? Que tal vez tengan las mismas inquietudes que usted. Entonces, um, si se si tiene ahí cómo poder uh, ver exactamente el ejercicio, ahorita mismo podemos... Podemos eh, ver pues eso. Aquí, acá, aquí acabo de ver uno que está en la, quiero ver, en la 4.9. Este, que sí, de, de hecho ahí solo eh, tenía que ir poniendo, did you have a good summer? Pero, este, ese sí lo entendí, ¿verdad? También el how, que era de how, que tenía, pero ya el tercero, no, no le hallaba porque de, tenía que poner... No le hallabas, tuve que esperar a mi hija y me dice, no, tenés que ponerle when, go to the beach. Pero, ¿de dónde voy a sacar ese when? Le decía yo. Ok, Entonces, ¿cuál es, ¿cuál es la 4. Punto qué? Es la 4.9. Congler check. Ok, eh... In conversation one or conversation two, three, four, five, La, five. Un, uno, uno. Uh -huh. Uno y también okay. la conversación Va. tres. Ok. En okay. la segunda pregunta. Ok. Va. Entonces, vamos a hacer una cosa. Eh, con la clase de hoy, creo que se le va a aclarar la duda. Uh -huh. okay. ok. ¿Le parece? Eh, podemos empezar ahí con, con la clase de hoy. Um, y al finalizar, si usted tiene alguna duda, la aclaramos. Pero creo, okay. que, creo, creo que sí, hoy se le va a hacer más claro eso. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. All right. Ok, good, good. Eh, y, and what about the rest of you? Los demás, ¿cómo vamos a ir? ¿Tenemos dudas, inquietudes, algo que le, con lo que yo les pueda ayudar? De mi parte, ya terminé la plataforma. Hey, excellent. Good job, Catherine. Very, very good job. Okay. Wow. ¿Alguien más? No. Okay. Bueno, en ese caso, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. We're going to start with the attendance, okay? So, I'm going to first uh, take the attendance. Eh, we'll start with Aaron Alberto Peraza Martel. So, Aaron Alberto Peraza. Aaron no ha podido este, ni, ni mandar porque solo me medio me logré comunicar por correo porque ha estado enfermo el papá, entonces no, pues no se ha podido uh -huh. ni conectar ni nada. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Ok, um, Adriana Beatriz Rodríguez Sosa. Present. Thank you. Ana Mercedes Lorzano Najarro. Present, Miss. Ok, wonderful, thank you. Blanca Rosa Hernández de Rosales. Present. Ok, thank you. Uh, Daniel Osvaldo Aquino Coreas. Present. Ok, thank you. Uh, Dora Stephanie Mejia Mejia. Present. Thank you. Uh, Edwin Adonai Jans Calderón. Uh, Edwin Adonai Jans Calderón. Eluisa Abigail Ortiz de García. Present. Okay, very good. Um, Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayan. Present, teacher. Ok, wonderful. Este, no puedo encender la cámara, teacher, porque voy de camino para la casa. Ah, ok. Ajá. Um, Pero cuando llegue, este, la voy a encender. Ok. Ok, thank you, Gloria. Um, Henry Osvaldo Quintanilla López. Henry Osvaldo Quintanilla López. Hello, estoy en evaluación. 
Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, Henry. Hugo Alberto Orellana Vides. Okay, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Jose Angel Hernandez Lopez. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Juan Alberto. Uh, Catherine Stephanie Salazar Serrano. Present. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Catherine Jamilet Aviles Garcia. Present. Thank you. Uh, Kenya Vanessa Funes Espinosa. Present. All right, wonderful. Uh, Kevin Adrian Rodriguez Lopez. Kevin Adrian. Kimberly Natalie Contreras Gonzalez. I am here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you, Kimberly. Uh, Marvin Alberto Morales Solorzano. Marvin Alberto. Minor Alexander Santos Solis. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pamela Noemi Pineda Ayala. Pedro Natán Ramírez Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio. Romeo Antonio, sorry, uh, Rafael Antonio uh, Aguilar Carpio. Romeo Antonio uh, Gutiérrez Cerón. Romeo Antonio. Present. Thank you. Ruth del Carmen Rosales. Present Villena. teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Sandra Guadalupe Alfaro Herrera. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you, Sandra. Sonia Yanira García de la Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Victor Manuel Arqueta Rauta. Present teacher. Excellent. Thank you. And Yanira Guadalupe Cumi de Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. And Judith Chavez Cerrarte. Do the edit. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so um, what we're gonna do right now is please tell me if um a moment. Okay, um, I'm going to be showing you my my screen. Please tell me if you can see it. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So um, here we're talking about the verbs in the simple past, okay? So we, you know how to talk about the verbs in the, in the simple present, in different present forms, but now we're gonna talk about the past, okay? Now, when we're talking about regular verbs, Okay, I'm not talking about those irregular ones. We're talking about here regular. So these are only about regular verbs. Okay, got it. We're talking about regular verbs. So when we're talking about regular verbs, and they look like this. I studied on Sunday. I studied on Sunday. You watched television. 
she stayed home. We shopped for groceries. They exercised on Saturday. Now, if you notice, you notice um, we have, okay, studied. Studied comes from what verb? What's the origin of study? What's the origin of studied? What's, what's the verb? Study. Studied. Study. Okay, so, so mm -hmm. stu study, studied comes from the verb study, right? Okay, so if you notice, it's the same except that we add here IED. What about watched? What's the origin of watch? Watch. Watch, exactly. Okay, good. So if you notice, all you do is you put ED after it. Yeah? Uh, what about stay? What's stayed is, what's the origin of stay? Stay. 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 Very good. So the origin of stayed is stay. And all, it's the same verb. It's just that we put ed after it. That's it. Okay. And what's the origin, the origin of shot? Shop. Shop. Exactly. So it's the same, except that in this one, we put ed and there's also another p. Uh, what about exercised? What's the origin of exercised? Exercise. Yeah. Exercise. exercise. Okay. So if you notice, it's the exact same verb. The only difference is that we're just going to put a D. But it's the exact same verb. So... If you notice, it's they they all have like a, a like a similar base, okay, um, a similar base, and we're going to learn in a moment what the difference is, okay? Because this one has I E D, this one just has E D, this one has E D, this one has a double consonant and then E D, and this one just has a D. So they're they're very similar, but they're they're different. So in a moment, I will explain to you why they are different. So basically, take a look, E D, D, oops, let's erase that. D, I, E, D, E, D, and double, double P, and then E, D. So that's, that's how we're going to be making the past, okay? All right, now, that's just an introduction, okay? No se me vaya a frustrar que dicen, yo no entiendo esto, okay? This is just an introduction, because in a moment, I'm going to explain to you how we go from this to this, okay? Ojo con esto, eso solamente con los verbos regulares. Bueno, ¿Ustedes entienden la diferencia entre verbos regulares y irregulares? Yes. Yes. Okay. Just, just, just like in Spanish, right? For example, uh, caminar. Caminar es un verbo regular, ¿verdad? Yo camino, él camina, ella camina, usted camina, tú caminas, um, ellos caminan, nosotros caminamos, ok. Es regular, pero el verbo ir es irregular. No, yo, eh, como digo, digo yo voy. O, o en el pasado, ajá, bueno, si lo hacemos en el presente para no confundirlos. Yo voy, él va. Es, es irregular, ¿verdad? No, no sigue la regla. 
So it's the same thing. In English, we have regular and irregular verbs. Right now, we're just going to look at the regular verbs, only the regular verbs, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing because I'm going to share something different right now. Okay, please tell me if uh, you are able to see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So in here, we have the verbs. We have watch, play, like, arrive, study, try, stop, rob. Okay. These are regular verbs. All of these are regular. So um, the rules are the following. If the verb, like normally, like the, the normal way that we're going to make the past is simply by adding ed. Okay. So we have, so the general rule is simply be, that we're going to be adding ed. That's the simple rule. Add ed. So we're going to have watch and then just add ed. Watched. Play and this add ed. Okay, very simple. Okay, that's the majority of the irregular verbs. Sorry, with the sorry regular verbs. Okay, pretty simple. Samos. So just take the verb and put ed. To give you an example, I'll give you other examples here. Uh, we have like. For example, walk or um, a, let me think, let me think of another one. Um, uh, join, connect. Okay, so with verbs like this, all you do, the only thing that you have to do is you're going to put ed. Just going to simply add ed. So we have ed walked, joined, sign in ed, connect, connected. There you go. Simple. Do we understand that? Is that pretty clear? Yeah? Pregunta? Hagan preguntas. Aquí estoy para ayudarles. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, tenía una duda con el verbo play y study, porque en el play es, siempre lleva la Y, pero en el study no. Ya se agrega como una I latina cuando eh, va a ser el ED. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's a good question. And I will, re I will reply to that. So, vamos a, a ver todo eso. Dentro de un momentito, ¿ok? Eh, vamos a ir viendo de que dependiendo el verbo, vamos a usar diferente, um, diferente terminación, ¿ok? Eh, yeah, and that's a very good observation. Very, very good observation. Ok, but for the first one, is that clear? For the first um, a rule, is this clear?
¿Está claro o no muy claro? Para la primera. Mm. Yes. So the general rule, general rule, o sea, para todos los verbos regulares normalmente solo se pone just add ed. 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 That's it. Ed. That's it. Okay? Simple? Okay, miss. Yeah? Okay. Good. All right. So that's that's the first rule. The second rule is when we have a verb that finishes in ed. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Finishes in e. Sorry. That already finishes in e. Um. But okay. So if, if the verb finishes in E, like the word like or arrive, if it, they finish in E, all you gotta do is add D. That's all, that's all you have to do, add D, okay? So like this one, liked, arrived, okay? Because it doesn't make sense that we're gonna put a double E. So we're not going to do this. It's not, it, it doesn't look good to say like this. Verá que no se mira bien. Like it, Ed. Arrive it, Ed. ¿Verdad? No tiene sentido. Because it already has an E. Okay? So in that case, we just put a D. Okay, other examples of this would be, for example, um, hate. Um, or, um, get it, another one. Um, complete. Okay. Oh. Love, yes, love. Okay, so with verbs like this that finish in an E, look, hate, complete, love. Okay, so with verbs like this, all you have to do, the only thing you have to do is add a D. So we say, we say, hated, completed. Love it. Loved. Okay. Simple as that. Sounds good? Yeah? Mamo bien? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. All right. Now, sometimes the verb finishes in a Y. Okay. And, but it's not just any vowel, it, it's, not, it's not just any Y, it's after a consonant. So if we have a consonant and then a Y, for example, it study, study has consonant D and then Y. Try consonant R and then Y. In that case, what we do is we delete or we eliminate Y and add I, E, D. So we have study. Notice study, we eliminate the Y. And try, we eliminate the Y. And then put IED. Okay. Other examples of this would be like words like cry, deny, apply. Okay, so notice. You have the, the consonant R and then Y. Here the consonant N and then Y. And here the consonant L and then Y. So what we do with these ones, the first step that we do is we eliminate the Y. 
Okay, so eliminate y, eliminate y, eliminate y. And then we're going to put i e d. I e d. Right. Denied. Applied. Okay, now, why does this rule not apply to words like play? Because play does not contain a consonant and Y. In this case, play is vowel and Y. The vowel A, A and then Y, not a consonant. Okay? Innocent deal? Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. teacher. Yeah? Okay. Good. Um, okay, so we have cry, denied, applied. Now, over here, it's another rule. Aquí hay otra, uh, otra regla. The rule here is if you have a consonant, a vowel, and another consonant, like here, over here, um, consonant, vowel, consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Also, this usually works with one one uh, syllable adjectives. Sorry, uh, verbs. Sorry, one syllable uh, uh, verbs. So, in this case, what we do is we're going to be doubling the consonant. So you're going to put a double consonant, okay, and then put ed. Like for example, stop. Stop. We're going to do double p. And then ed, robbed, double b, and then ed. Okay. Other examples of this, for example, um, swim. Uh, no, no, no. Hold on. Um, un momentito. Se me ha ido. Se me. I said the tip of my tongue. Um, okay, plan. Okay, plan or um, beg or um, um Wrap. Okay. Um, okay. So if you notice with these ones, we have the consonant L, vowel A, consonant N. Consonant B, vowel E, consonant G. Uh, consonant R, vowel A, consonant P. Okay? In those cases, what you do is you're going to double the, double the consonant. So in this case, we're going to have a double N. Okay? 
here double G. Here double P. Okay, and then simply after that, we're gonna simply add ED. So we're gonna say planned. Here it's begged. Someone says because begged, beg. I can say because beg. No, no. Please, 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 please. That's beg. Rogar. Rogar. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then wrap. Wrap. Do you know what is wrap? Like you wrap a gift and a present. You wrap a present. You know? Wrap. Envolver. Envolver. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So then, so we just add a double, a uh, double consonant, and then ed. Okay. ¿Qué tal? ¿Lo entendimos? Yes, no. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Questions? No question. Verbo regular, ¿verdad? Perdón. Yeah, these are regular ones. Miss, ¿podría mandar el cuadro a WhatsApp, por favor? Uh, sure, I can, I can do that. Solo que así tal como está ahorita. Puede tomarle foto. Eh, si tal vez alguien puede tomarle captura de imagen como está ahorita, porque así exactamente como está ahorita no lo puedo hacer por, ah, por la aplicación que está usando. Pero si alguien lo puede hacer desde su computadora, si lo, y si me hace ese favor. Yo puedo Yo mandar. El más noche. Ok, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Adriana. Ok, I'm going to stop sharing here. Um, and. Ok, we're going to, we're going to um, go back to the. Um, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now that you know what the rules are, you understand why study. Or, mejor vamos a hacerlo con este. Now that you understand the rule, you understand that watch, we just put ED. It's the regular form. Exercise finishes an E, so we're just going to add a D. Study finishes in a consonant Y, so we eliminate the Y and put IED. Stay is a regular one, just put ED, stayed. And shop finishes in one consonant, one vowel, and one consonant. So we're going to say shopped, double P, and then ED. Hoy, hoy sí ya entendimos por qué. Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. So that is the um the affirmative. Now in the negative, it's even easier. Super, super easy. In the negative, all you have to do is add the word didn't at the beginning. I didn't study on Saturday. You didn't watch a movie. She didn't stay out. We didn't um, shop for clothes. Whoops. You 
didn't shop for clothes, they didn't exercise on Sunday, okay? All you have to do is add the word didn't. It's always gonna be didn't, independent of the subject. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, it doesn't matter. It's always, 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 always gonna be didn't. Okay, now we have here didn't study, didn't watch, didn't uh didn't stay, didn't shop, didn't exercise. So the verb is going to be in the original form. You're not going to change anything. So the only thing you have to do in the negative is put the word didn't. But that's super easy because it doesn't matter what the subject is, you're always going to say didn't. Okay? And didn't is a contract is a contraction of did not. Okay, did not. So did is the simple past of do. Okay, so that's why you say did not. Okay. ¿Se acuerdan que, que para, para los verbos um, en el negativo, en el presente decimos I don't. Por ejemplo, I don't study. I don't work. I don't, um, I don't, uh, play soccer. She doesn't sleep um, more than three hours, more than five, uh, five hours, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Que usamos el auxiliar do. So, the auxiliary do in the past is didn't or did. And the negative is didn't or did not. ¿Qué tal? Pretty clear. Solo que en, teacher, este, solo que ahí para tercera persona siempre será igual, ya no sería como, como la anterior, ¿verdad? Mm -mm. It's the same. It's exactly the same. It doesn't matter. I didn't. You didn't. He sh didn't. She didn't. It didn't. We didn't. They didn't. It's the same. Okay. okay? Thank you. That's super fácil. ¿Ok? Ese creo que es el más fácil todavía porque no tienen que cambiar verbo y siempre es didn't. ¿Ok? Solo cuando está en negativo el verbo se mantiene. Uh -huh. Exacto. Yeah, that's correct. ¿Ok? Ahora, y ahora, now, um, that's for regular verbs. For irregular verbs, there is a list, okay? There is actually a list in total. Bueno, primero voy a tomar captura de imagen de esto. Y se los voy a mandar. Okay, so uh, that is for irregular verbs. But for irregular verbs, it's a little bit different. And the, well, it's actually not a little bit, it's, it's very different because, because they don't have a, because it doesn't have a, a rule, you just have to follow the list. Okay, hay una, una lista de los verbos. Los, los verbos irregulares, ¿ok? Um, y se los voy a mandar dentro de un momentito. Just give me a moment. Perdón, chicos, hasta que me cargue esta cosa. Ok, but, ok, so la, los... Um, Los verbos irregulares sí van a cambiar. Ok. Eh, 
Obviamente porque son irregulares, ¿verdad? Tiene sentido. O sea, si es irregular, no va a ser una regla. Entonces van a cambiar. Pero el negativo de esos verbos irregulares siempre va a tener la misma forma. Solo ponemos didn't y el verbo. For example, um, the verb, um, the verb, podemos decir, um, buy. Buy, okay, buy. Entonces sería didn't buy. The verb have, have is irregular. So it didn't have. O sea, en el negativo va a seguir teniendo esa misma forma. O sea, didn't and then the verb. So didn't have, didn't make, didn't sleep, didn't eat. Todos esos verbos que les doy son irregulares. So all you have to do is um, just memorize the verbs, the irregular verbs in the press in in the affirmative. In the negative is the same. Okay. Is that clear? ¿Estamos claros sobre eso? Yes, teacher. Ok, good. All right. Ay, disculpen, chicos, que no sé por qué está súper lenta mi computadora y no. Pero ya, ya recibieron la, la primera imagen, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Ok, bueno, de todos modos, eh, ahorita solo estamos estudiando el, el regular. Después les voy a mandar el regular porque ahorita todavía no lo estamos viendo. Ah, ya sé por qué se lenta la computadora. Okay. Um. <sighs> Disculpen, chicos, o tenganme paciencia acá que a veces la tecnología es muy eficiente y a veces no tanto. Okay, so uh, in a, okay, so I, what we're going to do is we're going to be completing some exercises. Please tell me if you can see my screen. No sé por qué no lo veo. Ok, déjenme entender otra vez. Ok, voy a seguir. All right, so, mm -hmm. says here, Tim, Tim is about, um, is talking about his weekend. Complete the sentence, then compare with the partner. So first, I want you to, change these verbs in parentheses into the simple past, okay? Vamos a hacer, no los voy a poner en breakout rooms, lo vamos a hacer todos juntos, pero les voy a dar un, unos cuantos minutos para que lo hagan ustedes solos, después revisamos, okay? So it says, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call. So we put the verb wait into the simple past, okay? So let's do letter A first, okay? I'll give you a chance. Okay. Mientras tanto, voy a ver si les puedo, les puedo mandar la otra lista. Todavía siguen viendo, ¿verdad? El... Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Perfect.
Okay. I sent in the group the list already. That's for the irregular. Por cierto, chicos, solamente um, comentarles que como eh, empezamos un poquito tarde en la clase, entonces vamos a tener que um, eh, continuar ahí uh, para completar eh, los minutos que hacen falta para, el, para la hora. Okay, teacher. The only oh, I forgot to tell you the only exception with the uh with this the irregular verb is the verb to be, okay. So we never say didn't be. This es la única que no aplica a esa regla del negativo, okay. We never say didn't be. Uh, the negative of of be is just the not. You put in not after the irregular form in the simple past. So for example, the simple past of be is was or were. So in the negative, wasn't or weren't. Es lo único que no aplica. De ahí todos los demás sería didn't in the, then the, the, the verb. So didn't become, didn't begin, didn't bend, didn't bite. Bet, didn't bite, didn't bleed, didn't blow, didn't break, didn't bring, didn't build, didn't buy, didn't catch, etc., etc. Okay, are we ready? We did not letter A. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah? Are we ready to check? Yes? Okay, let's check. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just... Stayed. 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 Good. I just stayed home. Yeah. 
I just stayed home and watched this. Good. Watched. <laughs> watched television. On Saturday, I visited. 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 Good. My friend, Frank. We talked. Good. We talked. And Sunday. Listen. Very good. Listened <coughs> to music. Give me a moment, guys. Okay. In the evening, he Invite. You what? Invite. Okay. So, yes. Uh, but we need to pronounce the D at the end. So, we say invited. invited. Okay. Invited. Okay. He invited some friends over. Okay. And we... Cooked. Yeah. Cooked. 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 Okay. And we cooked a good, a great meal. I didn't work. Didn't work. Excellent. Here we're going to say didn't, and then the, the verb is going to stay the same. Didn't work. Okay. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study. study. I didn't study. I didn't study at all. I just walk. walked. Walked. Walked to the mall and shop. Shop. Shot. Shopped. Shopped. Remember double P because shop it finishes in one consonant, one vowel. So this is the, con the consonant, one vowel and one consonant. That's why we have to double the, the consonant and then put ED. Okay. Do you have any questions? Yo me perdí un poquito, teacher, cuando mencionó lo del el verb to be. Ah, eh, es que vaya, les mandé, les mandé la, la, la lista, ¿verdad?, de los verbos irregulares. ¿Sí? Yes. Ok. Y yo les había mencionado anteriormente que con los verbos irregulares es lo mismo con el negativo. Entonces, por ejemplo, ustedes van a ver que eat... It's negative, right? Eat. This is solo the negative form could be didn't eat. Right? Um, drink. Drink también es irregular. So the negative form is didn't drink. Um, make. Make is irregular. Make, make is irregular. So the the, the negative of, of make is didn't make. Okay, entonces sigue, lo, sigue la misma regla con el negativo. ¿Sí? ¿Está claro sí, esto? Claro. Okay, but, pero les mencionaba que el único que es diferente es, um, es el verbo to be. Okay. Um, okay. So the verb the verb to be is going to be different. 
Okay, the verb to be, you are not going to write, for example, didn't be. Okay, esto, esto sí no aplica. Esto, esto no existe. Porque el, el, algo que deben entender es que el verbo to be es un verbo bien distinto a cualquier otro verbo. O sea, el, el verbo to be siempre, 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 siempre tiene excepciones. Entonces, o sea, lo único que es regular del verbo to be es que siempre va a ser diferente. Esa es la única cosa que usted puede contar con el verbo to be, que va a ser diferente. Entonces, eso no existe. Didn't be does not exist. The past of, of be sería. What is the simple past of be? ¿Alguien me puede ver la lista y decirme? Where was. Where and was. Muy bien. Ok. Ese es el, 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 el simple past. Entonces, to make negative, what we're going to do is simply add the negative form. So we're going to say weren't. And wasn't. Okay. That's how you make the simple past of the verb to be in the negative form. Okay. Hoy se tiene sentido lo que dije anteriormente. Yes, no. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So that's going to be all. That's it. That's all for today. Um, okay. Eh, ¿Alguien tiene alguna inquietud ahora? Thank you, Marvin. ¿Alguna inquietud? Algo que... que... Ahora se, se han resuelto esas dudas que teníamos eh, del simple past en la plataforma. Yes. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. 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 Excellent. Bye, chicos. Solo um, recordarles de que tenemos hasta el lunes para completar. Entonces, um, asegurémonos que si no por X o Y o, o motivo, ustedes no han podido hacer eh, eh, los, los ejercicios hasta el momento. Tienen este fin de semana para, para ponerse al día. ¿Ok? All right. So, y acuérdense que también aquí estoy yo para ayudarles. Así de que... Eh, escriban en la plataforma, pero, pero no en la plataforma, en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp escriban y um, al solo yo poder les contesto. ¿Ok? No piensen que están solos con esto de la plataforma. ¿Ok? También, si no les, si no les respondo yo, puede ser también alguien de, de administración o de soporte técnico, ¿verdad? Que está también en el grupo. Ok, así que siempre sepan que tienen ahí la ayuda. Eh, no están solitos. Ok. Ok, thank you okay. so much. You're welcome, thank guys. You. All right, that'll be all for today. Take care and see you on Monday. Ok. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye. Bye.